I am a heterosexual woman and it's very difficult for me to have an orgasm. Sometimes I can get there on my own, but especially with a partner, I feel a lot of pressure and get stuck in my head and can't come. I have a boyfriend now and when we first started having sex, I faked orgasms with him. He really wanted me to experience pleasure and so I faked it to make him feel good and to take the pressure off. It also helped him come and sometimes the sex would be going on for a long time and I wanted it to be over. Now though, there is this expectation that I'm going to come every time and I'm starting to feel bad for lying to him. I feel like I can't tell him the truth or ask for what I need to actually orgasm without breaking trust. I think he will take it as a betrayal. What can I do? So, first of all, I want to say to you, good for you that you're struggling with this and that it sounds like it becomes kind of unlivable for you to live with what you call this, this lie or faking it. And the reason why I'm saying good for you is because that's the first step to change, is that you're starting to feel the pressure of this like impossible dilemma that you find yourself in. And I'll talk more about that. But first of all, I just want to say something about the whole issue of faking an orgasm. And I want you to know that you're not alone and that this is very, very common. And uh, especially in heterosexual relationships, this is such a commonly recurring theme. And it's not just related to you personally, it's also related to the culture and to sexism. So there's an attitude in the culture that says, oh, as women, uh, you can be desirable, you can be an object for lust but you can't really fully embody your own lust and desire and sexuality because then you're a slut suddenly. So that split exists in all of us and it's a painful split. And so part of what you've done is you've adapted to the cultural expectation. And so the cultural expectation says that as a woman, you're valuable when you make your man turned on and want you and desire you and have pleasure. And so our whole sense of like self-esteem and self-value starts getting rooted outside of ourselves in the other instead of within ourselves. And that's a really painful experience to have. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you're using the word betrayal. And it's such a loaded word. And so the first thing I'd, I'd love for you to do is to do, irrespective of your partner, to do some soul searching around this whole issue of faking and around the part of you that only feels you're good enough if you perform for your partner. And also from your question, what I'm gathering, because you're saying sometimes you can have an orgasm on your own, but you know, it sounds like that's only sometimes. So there may also be a, a process for you around connecting more deeply with your own sexuality, getting to know your own body even more and, and how to pleasure yourself and to find out what's getting in the way. And there may be old belief systems that are getting in the way. It may be you needing to get to know your body on a deeper level. It may be a deeper process of giving yourself permission that you, you are allowed to enjoy your sexuality for yourself. So I think there is a process there and, and I would recommend getting some help with that part. And I think that's the place to start. So you can start developing compassion for this whole process that you're going through and the pain of feeling like you have to fake it. And I think when you have more compassion for yourself, the conversation with your boyfriend will become easier and deeper. Because right now, um, it sounds like it's, it's on the level of like this confession 
like, oh, I lied to you and I, I'm really a bad person and I feel so bad for lying to you and, you know, that's a limited view of looking at it. You, you are trapped in a much bigger issue that I just explained that is bigger than just you, okay? So first of all, I just want you to really get that. What's so painful about this is you're not actually getting sexual pleasure, or at least limited, because you're under this pressure of like performing for your boyfriend and should I fake, should I not fake, all of this is going on. So actually, you're not really free to really receive and feel the pleasure of sex and to really give it from your heart and from your desire. So the good news is there's a whole world of pleasure and intimacy out there that is still waiting for you to be discovered. And then let's talk about the dilemma you're in. So right now you're caught between either you're going to continue to fake orgasms and you're going to continue to feel horrible about that and that's going to build up and that's going to cause you a lot of anxiety and agony. Your other option is that you open up the conversation with your boyfriend after you've done the soul searching and you talk to him about your dilemma and everything that goes on for you around the whole faking thing and there is a risk in that. That is true. We can't fully predict how your boyfriend is going to respond to that. That is true. So in both cases, you're going to have anxiety. The difference with the second option is that you will be in integrity with yourself and you're growing. You're actually doing something that is way out of your comfort zone. And I think that will potentially greatly benefit your relationship because the things you're bumping into in sex have to do with expressing your needs, expressing your desires, and expressing your boundaries and limitations. So the fact that that is difficult during sex means that will also show up in your relationship. And when you can start opening up this realm with your boyfriend around sexuality, it can open up your entire relationship to have a much more open and honest and deeper level of communication with each other about what you both need, what you both desire, what you both hope for, long for, what your limitations are, etc. So it can take your relationship to a whole new level. Now, you and your boyfriend might need some support with that because there may be communication issues also in your relationship that may make it harder for you to say those things. I can't read that in your question, so I don't know enough to say that for sure, but it's possible. So again, if you run into difficulties around that, I would suggest just getting some help together with your boyfriend to deal with this issue. Let's say worst case scenario. Let's say worst case scenario, you tell your boyfriend and it doesn't go so well and, and you end up breaking up. And I in no way want to minimize that heartbreak. I know what it's like to go through breakups and that's, it's really painful. At the same time, by having taken that step of being honest and in integrity with yourself, you're never going to make that mistake again. The next relationship, you're going to enter from that place of honesty and integrity because you've already taken that leap. And so it'll help you in future relationships to create a very different foundation from which to start and to grow together on a very different platform.